gentlemen, women are on my side uh, as well. I hope you're all enjoying breakfast, the wonderful Mantica. I think they're finished, but I'm not sure. But they're very nice anyway. So, dear Mr. Ambassadors, ladies and gentlemen, partners in sustainable development, with a sickle of silver, one reaps ears of gold. As I see it, this is a Finnish proverb. It is fully appropriate in describing the spirit of the meeting that has brought us together here today. For indeed, each and every one of us has come to participate in this uh, World Circle or Economic Forum in the hope of finding some silver cyclists. By this, of course, I mean the best ideas, I mean the best tools to enhance the sustainability of our economy. In this domain, I have to admit that Finland is, in fact, the best student of the class in all Europe, placing well ahead of Switzerland, I might add. Be uh, that as it may, our country is nonetheless stepping up its efforts in order to reduce our CO2 emissions and our dependence on uh, fossil fuels. The Swiss Confederation's Energy Strategy 2050 has, for instance, set some very, very specific goals, such as the phasing out of nuclear energy, a five-fold reduction in CO2 emissions, and a two-fold reduction in energy, energy consumption. And last but not least, an inversion in the proportion of the energy mix targeting and production essentially based on renewable energies. In the Canton of Freiburg, which I'm representing here today, we also have been focusing in particular on buildings as the primary consumers of energy. We have a generous program of incentives has been set up as to enhance the energy efficiency of our built heritage. And in addition, our Blue Factory Innovation Quarter, which is going to be presented to you in a couple of minutes by Falk Yami, this quarter is concentrating its efforts on the built environment of the future with a smart living lab. So it's a, a collaboration between the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne and the Freiburg School of Engineering and Architecture. They have joined forces, and uh, you're going to learn more about this project in a couple of minutes. So this is where the positive carbon balance neighbor Hart House has, as the neighbor Hart was built and which incidentally won first place in the 2017 <coughs> solar difficult one in Denver, Colorado in 2017. Reducing our ecological footprint also implies strong the scourge of plastic waste and to the, uh, to the end our plastic innovation company center is developing plastics derived from renewable biomass sources, it is to say bioplastics and Mr. Kopmans is going to present this project to you in a couple of minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that the circle of economy involves numerous sectors, including the agrofood industry, which happens to be one of the pillars of the Canton of Freiburg as well, to recycle, to produce more efficiently, to, with less energy in fact, with less water as well, to make maximum use of the biomass. Uh, these are but a few of our objectives in this domain. We have in the canton, uh, we are quite fortunate, we had to buy an exceptional site at our disposal, we have it now. It's about 250,000 square meters of industrial area, buildings equipped with laboratories, uh, all of which are surrounded by a 1 million square meters of agricultural terrain that, has, that facilitate the conduct of experiments. And we have several innovative startups hailing from various countries. They have already set up shop there. And there was well the principle of sustainability lies at the core of the strategy from Farm to Fork. Let me conclude, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Suomi and Switzerland have a lot in common, you know. Namely, we have a high standard of living and cutting edge technological development. Our two countries also share a readiness to tackle challenges every day, and in particular that of continuing development while simultaneously preserving our environment. And as for the strategy to pursue, we can draw inspiration, I mean, we always need inspiration, maybe from the tactical genius of Baron Mannerheim, who worked miracles in this enterprise with a remarkable economization of the resources employed. It was a couple of years ago, I know, the context was not the same, but it's still inspiring. And with regard to the idea of cruising speed, which is important today, to successfully complete this transition, given, I think you would all agree, given the urgency of the situation, I would deem a person I like very much, it's of course Paolo Nurmi, to be an excellent example to follow, so uh, a very fast runner, finished fast runner. 
But at the end of the day, it will be our determination, ladies and gentlemen, our perseverance and tenacity that will make the difference. And hence, ultimately, a mindset close to the concept of Suomalain and Sisu, so near to the Finnish people. In the meantime, I would once again like to wish all of you a productive and productive changes. And I'm convinced that the harvest reaped with sickles of silver will be equally plentiful on both sides, on the Finnish side and on the Swiss side during this forum. This forum. And I do thank you very much for.